You're at home watching a movie. Maybe it's a great film. Maybe it's just a guilty pleasure. But you know for sure there's that one scene you just don't want to watch. It's too cringeworthy, too scary, too disturbing, too stupid, or even too boring. So you grab the remote so you can fast forward to the next watchable scene. Don't worry. Everyone's done it. Here are some of the movie moments that many of us prefer to skip right over. Spoilers ahead, of course. Jaws. This Steven Spielberg classic still gives everyone shark nightmares, and it all stems from its opening scene. The poor, doomed Chrissy goes for a moonlight skinny dip after a party on the beach. We see something approach her dangling legs from under the water, and you can probably guess where it goes from there. With terror in her eyes, she's whipped around for what seems like forever, screaming things like, until she's finally pulled under for good. Better to just move along because we all know the real fun of Jaws is watching Brody, Hooper and Quint on the boat, hashing it out with the shark. Scarface. The rags to riches story of a Cuban immigrant who becomes a drug lord, only to see his empire crumble at his bloodied, cocaine-caked feet. It's a given that Scarface is a very violent experience, but one scene featuring a chainsaw takes it to another level. Early in the game, some seriously pissed off Colombians show Tony Montana why you don't mess with them. Sure, there are plenty of horror movies that use this particular tool to gruesome effect, and you may choose to skip over those scenes as well. But when it comes to the Scarface chainsaw scene, you'll definitely want to sit this one out. Misery. You don't really see it coming, but when Wackadoo Annie decides she needs to teach her favourite author Paul a lesson after he breaks her rules, it's pretty horrifying. With Paul tied to a bed with a wooden block between his feet, Annie starts talking about how he needs a good hobbling to make him realise he can never leave her, and then she takes a sledgehammer and crushes his ankles on both sides. Oh, it's just too painful to watch. Almost done. By the way, in Stephen King's novel, Annie does far worse things to poor Paul, but you can skip past those pages as well. Marathon Man Anyone who's seen Marathon Man probably gets a toothache just thinking about it. This superb crime thriller film sees graduate student Babe caught up in a spy game that involves a Nazi war criminal, a skilled dentist, whose specialty in the concentration camps was, well, you get the picture. He captures Babe and tortures him, all while asking, Is it safe? Uh, no, it's not safe. And anyone with a dentist phobia, which is pretty much everyone, will probably push that fast forward button. 127 hours. If you know the true story of Aaron Ralston, a mountain climber who became trapped under a boulder while hiking alone, you know the desperate measures he had to take in order to survive. Played by James Franco in the film, Aaron has to saw off part of his arm in order to free himself and stay alive. When it comes to that moment in 127 hours, you think you're prepared, but you're really not. Director Danny Boyle masterfully captures the essence of the scene. Franco brilliantly plays it, and they should be applauded for it. But no one needs to watch it again. 2001 A Space Odyssey Look, we all know this 1968 Stanley Kubrick film was way ahead of its time when it was released, and is widely regarded as a cinematic classic from a master director. It is a spectacularly visual film worthy of its praise, but man, that first 10 minutes with the apes and the black monolith will put you right to sleep. I don't know what you're talking about. Just skip all that and get to the meat of the film, in which a ship computer goes creepily rogue after it realizes the humans might turn it off. In the battle of evil computers versus dumb monkeys, computers always win. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.